above the congested port of Long Beach, where waiting ships, rail cars and stacked containers could be seen through a brown haze, you, a Senator Alex Padilla and other officials gathered Friday November 12th, to promise that relief is on the way in the form of the $1. 2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill set to be signed by President Joe Biden early next week. Padilla was joined by Port and Union officials, as well as U Representative Nanette Diaz Barrigan, D. San Pedro, California Transportation Agency Secretary David Kim, and Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia, in a news conference on the roof of the Joint Control and Command Center at Pier Up in the Port of Long Beach. The lawmakers earlier met with officials from both the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach for a briefing on what is most needed from the federal and state branches to repair the cloud supply chain that has left some store shelves empty ahead of the holiday season and increased pollution in ships. The new infrastructure bill, which includes $17 billion for ports and waterways, will be key to solving the problem, Padilla and the other speakers said. For the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles, know that relief is on the way. This is a historic investment in new infrastructure, Barrigan said of the measure. It couldn't have come at a better time when we have these supply chain issues in the backlog. The lawmakers also lobbied for the companion legislation, the Build Back Better Act, saying it is important to pass the bill because it would address environmental issues. That legislation, which faces more opposition, would invest more than $550 billion to address climate change. Something the speaker said Friday is a key element to the overall infrastructure problem. Sparked by the pandemic, which began in March 2020, the supply chain crisis has dominated global headlines in recent months. While initial months of the pandemic brought a sudden drop in cargo at both ports, everything changed by midsummer when containers began flooding in from Asia, setting historic records.